So from the content descriptors, we now have achievement standards. Now achievement standards describe what students need to be able to demonstrate after each of their bands. So after year eight, after year 10. Now they very much relate to the content descriptors and you'll see a direct mapping between the two. Likewise, you'll see a direct mapping from the achievement standards in years at the end of year eight and the achievement standard at the end of year 10. There is a progression, just as there is in the content descriptors, there is a progression in the achievement standards all the way from foundation through to year 10, where students progressively um, are assessed on somewhat more complex, more detailed um, achievement standards as they progress through the bands. Now, part of your framing of your digital technologies course will be assessing the achievement standards. We're going to be looking at assessment in greater detail in a later module, but for now, you need to be just thinking about the achievement standards in terms of how you might go about assessing those. Now, I've provided you for a range of um, approaches for this to get started thinking about assessment. So the first uses a Western Australian model, which looks at a range of different um, aspects of the digital technologies curriculum in terms of assessment. So I read through that, and then I provided you for a number of example assessment approaches. We're going to be looking at these in, again in more detail later, but for now, start thinking about how you could utilize a range of different approaches to assessing students' achievement standards. There's not just one set way. We don't just use projects or just use exams. There's a whole range of different approaches that we can utilize to gathering evidence of student learning, student achievement of the achievement standards. Now, part of that though is the standards, which is where we then discriminate between how well students have achieved the various achievement standards. And we'll talk more about that when we explore assessment. But for now, just have a look at the range of different activities we can utilize to measure that achievement.